Good day everyone. So for today's topic, we will discuss about basic concept of hypothesis testing. For the basic concept of hypothesis testing, let's start with definition of terms. The first one is about hypothesis. When we talk about hypothesis, it is an educated guess that can be tested. Meaning, there is a process before we accept it. Or, behind this guess, there is a reason behind it. Okay? It is also a statement that describes the population parameter. We've already discussed about parameter, wherein we discuss parameter as it describes the population. It is also a tentative explanation, a claim or assertion about people, objects, or events. Meaning, hypothesis is a claim, or this is a judgment without a proof yet. Meaning, hindi pa siya napoprove. So, uh, it is about to prove pa lang whether this claim is true or false. So, that is the concept of hypothesis. Now, how are we going to prove if our hypothesis is true or false? And that is through hypothesis testing. So for hypothesis testing, it is an area in statistical inference wherein we can evaluate the conjecture about some characteristics of a population based on the data gathered from the sample. Meaning, when we talk about hypothesis testing, it is already the process whether to accept or reject the statement or the hypothesis itself. So, parang nasa court ka. Okay? When you are in court and the judge will ask the suspect, are you guilty or not guilty? And then the claim of the suspect is, uh, for example, the claim is not guilty. So, that's the hypothesis. Now, whether if, if the judge wants to know if he will accept or reject the claim of the suspect, he will undergo hypothesis testing. By how? Through the lawyer of the suspect by presenting to him the evidences. And that process is already what we call hypothesis testing. Next, we have two types of hypothesis testing. The first one is null hypothesis and the second one is alternative hypothesis. When we talk about null hypothesis, it is denoted by H sub 0. Okay, so what's the meaning of 0 here? This zero, this 0 stands for 0 difference and this H stands for hypothesis. So if we combine this definition of H sub 0, we have hypothesis of no difference or hypothesis of zero difference. What's the meaning of that? The meaning of that is whatever the null whatever the hypothesis or whatever the claim, there will be no changes at all. So for example, the mean grade of grade 11 students in math S111 is 85. So if that is the statement, for your null hypothesis, yun na rin mismo. So, ilalagay mo the mean grade of grade 11 students is 85. Okay? So, there is no change at all. That is null hypothesis. We have here an exam another example for null hypothesis. We have the mean grade of engineering students of ABC University enrolled in Calculus 2 is 1.85. To write that one in symbol as H sub 0 is to the mean is equal to 1.85. So this is in symbol. If you write the null in symbol, but if you write that one in statement, ito na mismo. The mean grade of engineering students of ABC University enrolled in Calculus 2 is 1.85. This is already our null hypothesis statement. And for the symbol, we have this. Next, we can write the symbols for null hypothesis using these symbols also. So, aside from equal to or sign, 
So, H sub 0 or null hypothesis is equal to the mean of some value. These some values here are the given in your data. So, whatever the given in your problem, ito yung ilalagay dito sa some value. So, pwede rin naman that the mean is greater than or equal to some value. And the mean is less than or equal to some value. Just do not forget to write your equal to. Yung ito. These are the ways where you can write your null hypothesis. Now, what is the purpose of null hypothesis or what is the purpose of having null hypothesis? The purpose is either to accept or reject the statement. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng null hypothesis. It is because yung null hypothesis ang magiging basis natin kung i-accept natin siya or i-reject -re natin. Okay? Of course, kung napatunayan na true yung null hypothesis, ang gagawin natin as our conclusion to, is to accept it. But, if napatunayan, if we prove that the null hypothesis with enough evidences that the null hypothesis is false, then we will reject it. Now, what happens if we reject the null hypothesis? Ano ngayon ang i-accept mo sa conclusion? Ang i-accept natin is the second type of hypothesis, which is the alternative hypothesis. So, for alternative hypothesis, it is written in symbol H sub alpha. In some books, they use H sub 1. It is a hypothesis to be considered as alternative to the null hypothesis. So, from the name itself, alternative. Okay? So, if the null hypothesis is false, then the alternative will be true. It is what the researcher believed to be true when the null hypothesis turned out false. And it is also known as the research hypothesis. Alternative hypothesis will be accepted if the sample data provides an evidence that the null hypothesis is false. So, meaning, if the null hypothesis is false, therefore, the alternative hypothesis will be true. Let us have this example. So, uh, kanina, the mean grade of engineering students of ABC University enrolled in calculus is equal to 1.85. But this time, since equal yung null, of course, we will contradict it. We will get the opposite. So, magiging not equal to 1.85. Or, we can rewrite it as less than or greater than to 1.85. Basta yung opposite ng uh, null hypothesis. That is your alternative hypothesis. We can write the alternative hypothesis through this symbol. So, uh, ang opposite ng equal ay not equal. Ang opposite ng greater than or less than is greater than lang, some value. Uh, and this one is less than some value. Some values here, again, will be based from your data given.